Welcome to Journey of Hope Home, a ministry of O'Fallon First UMC. I'm Emily and our mission here at Journey of Hope is to help women in imperfect situations connect to a perfect God at a deeper level so they can live into their God-given purpose. Expected mothers that are experiencing homelessness have long-swimming trauma that can only be addressed once their basic needs are met first. As we invite these women into this space, we will work with them to meet their physical, emotional, and spiritual needs while helping them attain a stable home, a healthy lifestyle, a higher education, a career, a budget, and a spiritual life closer to God. Through our health programming, we will work to obtain medical coverage for the women, set them up with a counseling plan, and ensure they have proper nutrition and exercise. We will work with the women to teach them life skills, including cooking, cleaning, career development, and more. As they move through their pregnancy, we will partner with them, offering CPR training, birthing classes, adoption counseling if they choose this path, and other classes to prepare them for motherhood. Christ is at the center of everything we will do at Journey of Hope, and we will support the women's spiritual health by being in daily devotion with them group Bible study, and attending weekly worship together. Each woman will have a mentor ready to walk with them through an individualized plan as they set goals for themselves throughout their pregnancy and post-pregnancy. We will be a safe space for these women through their pregnancy, setting them up for success and independence through their goals, reaching benchmarks along the way to get them closer to independence. If a woman chooses, the home will be open to them and their child to return post-birth for up to a year as they work towards gaining the independence they need to create a loving, safe, healthy home for themselves and their child. This transitional piece is vitally important to the success of the woman and her child. Unplanned pregnancy is already very scary and feeling supported through that pregnancy is what we intend to show the women a journey of hope. That should not stop once she has given birth. This was an important piece that I missed out on at 17 when I found myself with an unplanned pregnancy. Journey of Hope will offer that unique transition if the woman chooses of continued support for up to a year. I would like to share with you a little more about my story to give you a glimpse as to why this ministry has welled up so much passion in me. Yes, I experienced an unplanned pregnancy at the age of 17 that had my parents unsure of how to handle that. Abortion was not an option in my family, so my parents decided to place me in the Liberty Godparent home about an hour away from my then home in Roanoke, Virginia. The home was welcoming, and it felt like a good place from the very beginning. I was surrounded by other young women that were pregnant, each coming in with a different story. Some were in relationships, some had been molested, other parents didn't want them in their home or town when they were pregnant and so on so many different stories during my stay in the home i was able to continue my high school education i was taught how to crochet and cook and be in community with other these other women sharing responsibilities and chore duties cooking cleaning we were a family we laughed a lot cried together got angry with each other and just grew together we were driven to our checkups in a community van with our house parents. We were taken to church events and attended weekly service at the Thomas Road Baptist Church, which was the church over the ministry of the Liberty God Parent Home. My relationship with God was ignited through that home, but that passion fizzled out when I went home after giving birth empty-handed without my child. I had chosen adoption for my child during my stay at the God Parent Home. I was able to handpick the family I wanted her to be placed with, and I felt really good about that decision. I went back home broken from giving birth and having no child with me to raise. After having her in my belly for all of those months, I didn't have a transition to cope with what happened. Also, my daughter ended up with me after nine months of being in foster care, and I became a parent then. My goal is to bridge the gap between birth and parenting or adoption for these women and offer them what I knew I didn't get that could have helped me tremendously back then. Whether these women choose parenting or adoption, we want to give them the option to stay with us and allow us to pour into them and further prepare them for the world of parenting and the world that awaits them. If a woman chooses adoption for a child, she will have that option to continue her counseling and mentoring with us 
and that she will need to cope with that, with that selfless decision that she made to place her child for adoption. We will be that gap filler, that safe space, that continuous nurturer for their soul, filling them up and giving them the confidence to face this world and live into their God-given purpose. Thank you for being with us today and listening to the story of Journey of Hope and mine. Thank you. If you wish to donate to Journey of Hope, please know that your gift covers staffing, transportation, food, shelter, clothing, educational fees, counseling, and so much more. Will you prayerfully consider helping make a difference in these precious lives? You can visit the website to make a donation. If you have any questions, or you want more information on Journey of Hope, you can email me at journeyofhopehome at gmail.com. Welcome to the Journey of Hope.